In this video, we're going to discuss uh, marketing. <clears throat> Obviously, marketing. This video can't cover the entire scope of that subject because uh, you know that's what some people. That's all they do is try to help market other businesses. But there's some key principles here that need to be pointed out, and uh, that are pretty helpful when it comes to the specific subject of websites and having an online presence. Um, a huge question I get all the time is how do I market my website? Uh, because people find that once they get all the other steps out of the way and finally get a presence online, nobody visits. Okay, There's several reasons that could be. Uh, usually the biggest reason is because you're not fully indexed in the search engines. Um, even a bigger reason is, is if the site that you have up has no meaningful content. In an earlier part, I talked in the SEO section how important it is to have meaningful and purposeful content on your site. That is going to be your number one thing to help drive uh, your online presence and the existence of your website. Um, tools to help facilitate that, probably one of your best marketing tactics is going to be to maintain a blog. Um, a blog it kind of goes back to talking about having meaningful content on your site, but for example, take this method, uh, write a post a day. Um, again, we, we talked about how you write content and the, where you should get it, and where you should get it is from your head about what you know most about because it represents a very cheap, cost-effective resource of knowledge that you can spill easily onto pages and onto websites. So I've been using a mechanic for these examples. Let's say a mechanic um, writes a post a day about anything. And I mean, there's probably thousands of things you could write about cars, the different models, the different things that break, how to fix them, the tricks and traps. And let's say you wrote a post a day. Well, in one year, you'll have a 365 page website, at least. And this does equate, you know, assuming that each one is optimized, you've, you've done the keywords correctly, you've written, written a, a very well formed article, you've got all your affiliate links and things that you want in there, um, that's going to equate to 365 more chances now of the search engines finding you. Because now you've got other pages that can be grabbed and not just your main index page, not just your, your home page, for example that makes users then go find your other pages. No, Google's smart enough and there are ways to optimize your page um, that, you know, if this page is about how to fix a 90, 1995 Ford starter, for example, I don't know, um, it may be that specific page within your site that is grabbed and not the main domain of your site. And that's what you want. In two years, you're going to have over a 700 page site and so on. If you just write a little 15 minute post a day. Um, so again, a blog is a very, very efficient and effective way, especially in the eyes of the search engine, um, to help market your site because each blog entry, okay, and I talked about this earlier, is fresh and unique content, meaning it's found nowhere else on the web, assuming that you wrote it yourself. So the search bots, when they come back to your site, are going to realize that, okay, this website updates daily with something new and unique. And that is what is going to be rewarded by uh, Google and the search engines is the websites that have the most legitimate purpose. And so if it's recognized by search bots that you're someone who updates their site every day, um, that's going to that's gonna weigh in your favor. And that's something that you're going to want to do. Um, I get a lot of customers who say, well, I, I just don't want to do that every day. Okay, then you need to find something else to do because webmastering is not a passive job. It's a job like anything else, and if you're going to be good at it, doing things like this are very, very important and will spell a lot of success. The nice thing about it is, I mean, literally, if you can spend 15 minutes to an hour a day writing a blog post, you understand that's all some webmasters do. That constitutes all their work, and they let the automated process and the efforts of their work just be repeated over and over again through through the web, through the internet. That's the beauty of it. But nothing is going to be just totally automated. To have a really good presence, to have a great optimized site, and for the search engines to really favor you, and for marketing to be successful, it's going to be a site that you're going to want to maintain and update with fresh and unique content. So this is where a blog comes into play because it is a tool that helps you organize um, pages, basically. And you can organize them by month, by most uh, recent, you know, seen first. There's many, many options, many ways. So a blog is a great way to help market your site. Another great free way is networking. Find other webmasters out there that are not direct competitors but that your sites complement each other. Um, for example, 
let's say for example I did not do graphic design I do graphic design but so this in this example let's just assume that I, I didn't do graphic design all I did was web development um, I just you know helped maintain and produce the code that make your website function but let's say I've got a friend who has a website and he does do graphic design but he doesn't do web development well he would be a great um, website to share links with and to share traffic with because we're not in direct competition and one service could actually need the other and you'll find that when you network and you swap links you don't divide your traffic you double it um, because users are going to surf the internet anyway and it's your job as a webmaster and especially the other webmasters that you link with it's your job to provide the path those users take to be profitable for you and value added for the user so getting creative thinking of different ways that you and another webmaster could mutually benefit from some relationship or from some way of referring your traffic to them and vice versa um, again all you gotta do that is maybe ten times and you've you know increased your traffic maybe by a hundred okay it can be exponential just depending on the sites you get and um, and how you do it so networking is another great way Another really great uh, method to employ is not only are you creating fresh content on your own site every day in the form of a blog, but you're also actively engaging in other forums and blogs out there on the internet and leaving, and here's the key, valuable comments. Uh, if you leave a valuable comment, a lot of times there can be a link back to your site to reference the person who left the comment. If it's a valuable comment, the webmaster you left the comment on is going to keep it on their site because it adds more value to their users. But that also gives a one-way link back to your site, which we discussed in the SEO section, is very helpful. And that is an also a very great free way to let others on active blogs, all the users who visit those blogs anyway, see your comment and then get a link to your site so they can go check you out. And finally, probably the non-free way, or the, the way that you would have to pay for, is the uh, like Google AdSense, I'm sorry, Google AdWords program, or a pay-per-click campaign, where basically you bid on keywords, and um, those will show up in sponsored results in uh, the search engines. If you go this method, I'll caution you now that you want to be specific, specific, specific. Um, a lot of new webmasters can waste a lot of money on pay-per-click campaigns that go nowhere and immediately it leaves a bad taste in their mouth and they just don't they just don't get it um, most often where they fail is they are not specific enough with the keywords that they bid on so a good example I'll give you real quick if you're running a website about dogs okay it would be very very bad idea to bid on keywords about pets because you could have lizards, birds, you could have all sorts of other results about pets that are not about dogs. Um, but let's say your website, one of the products it sells is a red nylon dog collar. You're going to have a lot more success if you bid on keywords that have to do with red nylon dog collar because people who click on that ad most likely are looking for just that. It's not even a nylon collar, it's a red one. Um, this is in big contrast to if you bid on keywords like pets. Well, this could be a lizard, this could be a bird, this could be any type of pet, any type of merchandise, any type of product for that pet. And unless that user that clicked just so happened to be one that's looking for a red nylon dog collar, it's a wasted click and that's how you get your money wasted. So if you're going to go uh, pay-per-click campaign routes, um, make sure you follow all the rules in terms of service, especially if you're using um, the pay-per-click campaigns for um, affiliates if you're trying to promote products that way some allow it some don't some even help you do it um, but just keep that in mind and the number rule or number one rule of thumb is to be as specific as possible um, that's like I said generally where most people fail that's not the only way you can mess up but that is probably the number one way so um, again these are some marketing ideas that are most of them are free the last one you'd have to pay for but uh, I hope they help out and I'll see you on the next section